All right, we are here, BMW Encinitas. Ooh, We're nice. not buying a BMW, Ooh, but we nice. are hopefully buying another car today. Hey, so, Ev, can we take that one home? Which one? That one right oh, there. What's that, M5? I don't know, but that thing's sweet. See, I like the grill size. Like, why did they screw up the M3, M4 so much? The M5 is such a good looking car. Ooh, and then the M6. All right, let's go see what they got. I'm gonna be that guy that comes to the uh, Honda dealer or the BMW dealership to work at a Honda. 35 grand. This thing must be a cream puff. 37 grand. Japanese cars just appreciating like crazy. 11,000 miles though. Yeah, 11,159 miles. Pretty good. I'm getting bad thoughts right now. <laughs> basically a new car. All right, little STI. So just as a comparison, they also have this STI on the lot, which is kind of interesting. We do a lot of STIs. We've done a lot of STIs. This one looks like it's been modded, and the first hint of that is the badge on the front. Uh, just like Nick at our shop, if you guys watched our employee video. Little cherry blossom badge on here. So, and we see the remnants of what was a tow hook or a license plate relocator. Uh, some more mods, some fake cabron. Oh, yeah. M3. It's, it's held on there, good. Little wing stands, little uh, add on wing here, blacked out badges. Looks like stock exhaust, hard to tell. Maybe not. Definitely not. But man, prices are going up for <laughs> all these cars, man. They're getting older and the conditions getting worse. They're getting harder to find and the price is driving through the roof. Yeah, so. 25 grand for these headlights. Yeah. And all these faded, like this thing is four years old. Gosh. Look at the condition of these plastics. Let's go see if they have anything else cool. Mickey's first bell when he becomes a dad. <laughs> I mean, I think the Japanese minivans are actually pretty cool. I know like the Nissan van, you can put GTR wheels on and stuff. I could certainly see myself slamming one of these on a nice set of wheels and tires and enjoying it as a dad if i ever become a dad an actual dad and the shop dad not just shop dad not just shop dad you can't be a shop dad and show up in this you got to actually have a reason nobody basic. really talks about these no Everyone, it's the same chassis as the mark 4 or mark it's 5 the same super. as the mark 5 super chassis wise and drivetrain wise correct yes. i imagine the interior looks probably pretty similar as well but this car is kind of like a redheaded stepchild when you compare it to the mark 5. i think it's a cool package it's it's probably priced quite a bit more than a mark 5 i'm not sure i'm not 100 percent. i think you know the one thing where it kind of loses me is this soft top i mean it's not it's not though it's actually a, a hard or a hard top that looks like a rag top. Yeah, you have to excuse my BMW ignorance. I like them. Don't get me wrong. I just not up on all the all the models. Yeah, if you're not on top of it, you kind of fall off. And I've been kind of falling off. I mean, we're cruising around the used the used lot here. Up there, I'm like lost. This is this is a little more my speed. This line right here. Woo! A nice oh, this is a competition as well, huh? Look at the interior. What is this color? Sold. She's sold. This is beautiful. It's white. The, the only girls, thing, the girls still kind of. The only thing I look a lot better in person, in my opinion. But oh, it really does look a lot better in person. I was expecting to hate it. I'm is, still, the, is the competition grill different than the standard? I actually M? don't know. That's a good question. It looks like it may be. And what's weird is they move the slats sideways. Aren't the slats yeah. normally vertical? They are normally vertical. So horizontal, maybe that's what helps it, I don't know. The mirrors look a little disjointed too, right? Like versus the yeah. old E90s and stuff, like this used to run a lot closer to the body. It did, that was one of the things. So the original, like the E36, it's it's fixed. Yeah. It doesn't fold. They yeah, did that with because the they didn't fold. Yeah, So exactly. now it folds with this, look. But I'm just saying like this gap seems much bigger than it used to be. These even. mirrors also massive compared to the yeah. E36 rules. Man, I would do dirty things with this. <laughs> hey, can we appreciate the carbon fiber roof? That's one thing I love about production carbon fiber is it's just flawless. Absolutely flawless. And that's one thing like you look at the uh, active garage or garage active uh, carbon GTR that we saw at SEMA. I think he was able to accomplish the OE look, but he did it himself, which is pretty crazy. Or his, his workshop did that, that carbon work himself. 
match the weave on all the panels. Like it's that level of attention to detail that I love and BMW has definitely been doing it for years at this level. I honestly wish more car manufacturers would do this on their top end sports models because yeah. this is like a really important place to, to shed weight is above the belt line. BMW's been doing it what since E90? E46 CSL E46 was the first CSL one to have it. it. So that was like 2004, 2005. RCF. Oh, you can't this see is me, dude. This has got my name written all over it. Your hockey bags fitting in? I don't know. That's the question. I kind of want to get another Mustang, but it's kind of a stretch to get the hockey bag in and out of. It did, but I'd have to check this one out. It's kind of a buzzkill when you see the steering wheel in these sports cars because this is the same wheel that's in my CT200H. I wonder if they made a manual in this thing. Carbon fiber clock? That's a nice touch. I don't know if it's real, but heated seats, air-conditioned seats. I kind of dig this, dude. Oh, yeah, no problem. Look at the rising sun on the mats. That was a nice touch by the detailer. See that? I think my hockey bag would fit in here, actually. All right. Well, let's go look at what we came here to look at. So this right here, this is the perfect throttle spec. This is why we came here. 2013 Evo GSR. It's got old school PPF on it, which is good. I mean, it's underneath, and, and, it's, look, and it's complete. It's all over. It's like uh, in the weirdest spots. It has like a basic PPF job. It's like a universal kit. Yeah, headlights are, are bad. These are, are no good. It's a new thing I already specked out of slip. Out for a little rip in the Evo 10. What do you think, Quinn? Oh, good so far. Definitely a cool car. It kind of has the same feel as the Eclipse to a degree. Yeah, for obvious reason. Fair enough. <laughs> One thing we noticed was it probably had an intake on it. Some of the hardware is missing for the factory intake, which is not a big deal. It would probably keep the factory snorkel, but do a little upgrade on that. Uh, but I guess the main thing is this drivetrain solid. That's all we really, really care about it's too much. KDN makes a shifter for this too, which I put on our list. Yeah, I think we're gonna need one of those. The shifter feels good, like the transmission feels a little notchy, but the shift's really long. This knob's gotta go. <laughs> Factory. <laughs> it's a good thing though. The Evo's ours. It's raining, <laughs> so we can put that all-wheel drive system to the test. Let's do it. All right, well, the dealer just came out, so that was the fastest car sale he's ever done. <laughs> like, fastest in and out. We've been here for, what, half hour, 40 minutes, top. Deal's done, paperwork's signed, and we're going home with an Evo 10. Evan's uh, trying to wreck it into some of these fancy BMWs before we get out of here, though. Let's see if he hits something. Maybe he needs me to go help him. You think yeah, I should maybe. Go? Probably wouldn't hurt. Ricky, what's up? Come on, let's go. Where are we going? Quinn's pulling up with the new whip. The new, the new, new. The cars. Longest is oh. not oh. a. Oh, it's not good. I was gonna say, longest is not a Subi or a Beamer. That's not. Is, is that it for real? Yeah. Yeah. Yo. Let's go, Quinn.
All right guys, some of you have already guessed it. The Evo 10 is the next throttle official sweepstakes car. And for the next 48 hours, to reward you guys for getting those early entries in, we're gonna do two times entries. So for every $1 you spend, you're gonna get two entries to win the Evo and $20,000 in cash. So that's the first time we've ever had a cash prize in addition to the car. We know that there's some high expenses when it comes to owning these types of cars. So we figured that would kind of help pay for it. And Maybe you want to do some more mods of your own. I'm not really too sure, but either way, the choice is yours. The 2X entry period is only live for the next 48 hours, and after that, it's gonna go back down to one times entry. So hop on over to our site, check out some new performance parts or some cosmetic mods for your car, or even some maintenance items like oil chain stuff. All that stuff is available right now on throttle.com. Get those entries in. I've been wanting to do Let's go, baby! What Evo 10! What do we got here? This is the next build, BMW Evo. Let's show that. Let's show that. Why not? It's a BMW. Oh, yeah, dude. No, I said, as long as it's not a Beamer or a Subi, I'm good. We've done too many Subis and Beamers. It's dope. Well, Mixer is seeing it, but. Yeah, I'm excited. I know it's hard to tell, but it's pretty cool. Give us a little walk around. I'm happy because it's white. Turbocharged, four banger. I'm in. I like it. Yeah, it's really clean. It's a 2013, if you guys didn't pick up on that already. Any seats? <laughs> oh, yeah. Hey, Ricaros? Yeah, dude. Out of the box? So, I used to have an Evo. It wasn't a 10, though. It was a 9. I'm doing the, uh, the Becky. The back is Becky. Beep, 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 beep. That's, how, that's how Evan does everything he gets in the car. <laughs> Pop the hood. Pop the hood. Pop the hood. Does it have any goodies? 4G63 or no? No, I'm kidding. It's not. It's got the knee back. It's got the knee back. Those E30 gods think of it. You know, I love my Subarus, but secretly I'm, I'm a little curious about these uh, Evo times. I like the last Evo we did a lot. Kind of changed my mind about them a little bit. Yeah, so, pretty, pretty Jumbo. excited. What do you think of the new? Black. You guys got another car? What are you guys doing out here? Ooh. A little red paint. That's nice. She's nice. You get pretty good stuff. This is what happens when you put Ricky in front of rail can. Is that what he did? Is that Ricky? No, that's Ricky Ride. <laughs> no, I think it actually comes like that. Pretty sick, dude. Yeah, come on. All right, Quinn. What's up? Give us the rundown on this thing. 13, Evo 10. White, fast. It's our next giveaway, though, right? Yes, it is the next throttle sweepstakes car. Evo 10. This thing's gonna be killer. You see all the parts I ordered for it already? <laughs> dude, throttle had 43 pages worth of parts for this car. I thumbed through every page. Oh, yeah. the Mickey list is epic for this one. This thing's gonna be so sick. Clean. Clean. Dude, I'm excited to see what they do with this. I think this has a lot of potential. All right, so I just got word from the sweepstakes company. They just emailed me over the winner for our R35 GTR sweepstakes. His name is Ken, and we are going to FaceTime him right now and see what he thinks. You better be ready, Ken. Be ready. Here we hey, go. Let's do it. Random FaceTime. Hey, is this Ken? This is Ken. Hey Ken, you placed an order on throttle.com for some parts? Yes. Well guess what? You actually won our R35 GTR. <laughs> Congratulations. Congrats, man. Uh, what, what part of the country do you live in? Uh, Washington State. All right, all right. It's cool. A bit north not, of us. Yeah, not too far. <laughs> what, no, kind, no, no. what kind of car or, or truck did you buy parts for? Uh, actually, it was for my father-in-law's uh, Jeep. Very nice. Now you got, uh, well, you you got just... an R35 or $50,000 in cash, so the choice is yours. Wow. Yeah. <laughs> Congratulations. Uh, yeah. So you don't have to decide just yet. You can kind of okay. think about it, and then we can uh, touch base sometime next week. and figure out how to how to get your car to you or have you come to San Diego or if you want to choose the cash option that's that's up to you. Wow. Nothing's wrong dear. I just want a car. Wow. <laughs> <laughs> well, thank you. Congratulations and um, yeah, we'll be in touch soon. All right. Congrats, you Ken. All right. Take it easy. Bye. See ya. Bye. Bye. Have a good day. Bye. Well, that was a first. That was crazy. That was crazy. <laughs> All right, well that's it. Congrats to Ken, and thank you to everyone who participated in the sweepstakes. We really do appreciate it. And we've got a pretty sick one that we're just about to kick off right here. Yo, he just won a car by gifting his brother-in-law? Father-in-law. Father-in-law. Some parts. 
Jeep parts. Yep. So this is the first time we've actually ever offered a cash alternative. This or that. Because yeah. we know like some people, it, you know, whatever, it may not work out for them. So yeah, he has the option of taking home the R35 or $50,000 in cash. And I guess we'll fill you guys in in the next episode what he chooses. And that's it. Yeah. All right, so a couple days have passed since we reached out to Ken. And I just got off the phone with the sweepstakes company and Ken chose the cash. So Ken is gonna get wired or a check for $50,000 and now we still have the GTR. So I'm not exactly sure what we're gonna do with that. Uh, I guess you guys are gonna have to stay tuned. Thank you guys so much for watching. Get those entries in to win the Evo. See you guys in the next one. Peace.